The State Department has issued a travel advisory for Baja, California, saying high crime rates and kidnappings may put tourists at risk. CBS 8's David Gofferton spoke to a veteran Tijuana journalist about the risk to Americans in Tijuana and Rosarito, especially during spring break. A high homicide rate in Tijuana, along with kidnappings and other crimes in the border region, resulted in a State Department warning earlier this month. Travelers should remain on main highways and avoid remote locations, the travel advisory said. Violent crime and gang activity are common. U.S. citizens have been victims of kidnapping. But not everyone agrees that American tourists are being targeted. The risk is there, but not particularly for tourists. But if you are in a new area where you are not that familiar with, you are also exposed to that danger. Veteran journalist Vicente Calderon with TijuanaPress.com says for the most part, tourist areas of the city are safe. If you don't get to dark alleys, so to speak, if you don't hang with the wrong crowds, if you are not buying drugs, it's very difficult that you're really going to get into trouble. When it comes to spring breakers, Calderon says it's alcohol consumption that leads to trouble. Most of the problems with the spring breakers are among themselves. A spring breakers fighting with other spring breakers. The spring break crowds have moved from downtown Tijuana to Rosarito Beach over the last few decades. Calderon says Americans need to know the laws in Mexico. It is against the law to drink on the streets. It is against the law in Mexico to drink on the beach. With moderation and common sense, he says, trouble can be avoided. Most of the people would be safe and going to be back after having a good time in this side of the border. The State Department also reminds travelers it's a good idea to make sure your passport is not expired before leaving the country. Back to you in the studio.